Holy sh**. Jesus, man. Jeez, man. Jesus There's the uh, hole saw How Jim Lil did it I'll never fucking know Hey guys, it's been a couple months, and this video has actually been in the work for a couple months. That and I was uh, trying to restore an antique Zenith television that was uh, entertaining and time consuming, time vampire of a project. But yeah, what you see here is a 5F8A. This is the amp that Joe Bonamassa chooses. His uh, model runs for about five grand. Um, this was built and hand wired by myself as you'll see in a moment. Uh, I did not intend the following footage to ever be a time lapse, at least the electronics part. In fact, if I wanted to I could put together a series on how to build one of these step by step. I have hours of footage where I outline every single step you need to take to build a 5F8A. So if you're interested in that, please put it down in the comments and if I get enough feedback I'll, uh, I'll put that video out there. I made one mistake on the output and that is where I wired the presence control to both an 8 ohm and, and 4 ohm tap at the same time which uh, basically diminished the output. Uh, once I fix that this thing roars and it's fantastic. Came up right away um, but yeah so uh, what you'll see today is a time lapse of the electronics build and then another time lapse of the can um, the cabinet build. So if you find that entertaining, uh, check it out. viewer of the channel uh, donated uh, some some funds to get this Mojo Tone uh, stand, chassis stand, which is very much needed. If you've seen my other videos struggling with that Ampeg V4, um, it's no fun. So this is going to make life a lot easier for future projects. So thank you, Bill, if you're watching. Thank you so much.
was able to get this working well with the 4 ohm tap. The 8 ohm tap works fine, but the real power seems to be in the 4 ohm tap as it was designed. So here it is coming out of a modified 16 ohm cab, modified to do both 8 ohms and 4 ohms, and it's on the 4 ohm setting. normal channel all the way up In that preliminary recording it sounds a little bit rough I was still getting the feel of it I hadn't rehearsed anything to be honest with you I'm uh, I'm no Brad the guitarist I'm not great at, uh, at improvising um, or doing stream of conscious noodling which is uh, his specialty which uh, is pretty pretty cool stuff anyway the next thing we had to uh, conquer was the cabinet build and we did a uh, finger jointed cabinet, box joint, dovetail, whatever you want to call it, um, and a polyurethane finish. I'd never worked with polyurethane before, so it was challenging. I'd worked with polyacrylic on the last build, the 5E3 build, which is a very similar design. And the polyacrylic, you could just layer after layer after layer. I could use a fan to speed up the drying process huge no-no with polyurethane but anyway it came out decent enough so here's the cabinet build and then we'll say bon voyage Here it is. Just wanted to do a close up before we end the video. And this thing is going to be for sale shortly. And I'm still looking to. Not sure what I'm going to charge for it. But uh, I love how some of this wood grain 
came out some of these spots of brightness and darkness it's just uh, really lovely stuff and uh, decorative cabinet screws came in handy and this burlap fabric I uh, double layered this so uh, it should hold up all right um, there are some things I could do I, I've got corner protectors but I almost think it would ruin the vibe but I'm hoping I can sell this one so I can start on the next. Uh, you know, kind of perfect the art. What I really like here is the back. One sec. So this is the back, which I think I like the most here. And rectifier tubes and the other tubes. And top. Just came out really nice. And let's see what that looks like with the filaments glowing and the lights down. Part mess. So yeah, there the filaments are glowing there. I want to say uh, thanks for the music. Uh, Chris Hagen, I think is, is his name. And uh, he's in the audio library and YouTube and there's a lot of calming wonderful music by him that I use in my videos so I just wanted to mention that before we end and uh, hoping to sell this soon and uh, build something else something uh, different uh, all right y'all uh, take care we'll see you next time